Hello. Good morning. Day one of practice. 30 day challenge to self love, self awareness, self healing, and the deliberate creation of your preferred experiences. So if you don't know me, my name is Crystal Willingham. And I am a whole life wellness consultant and Reiki practitioner. And well, I just wanted to live stream this morning um, at the first day of this new challenge. For me, it's a new challenge. For a few of you, it's a new challenge. For um, some people who've never done this before, it's a brand new challenge. But I just wanted to share um, a little bit about my why and, you know, what motivated me to begin this journey. And, you know, I'm just sort of going to open up to my higher mind and just sort of let it flow. Um, practicing being a little bit more random. <laughs> and just allowing information to come through that that's ready to come through. So before I really get into this, um, for those of you who are going to be watching this on the replay, we are, I'm just going to take a minute to really get centered, really get grounded, and I invite you to do that with me. <laughs> then the phone rings. Um, <clears throat> because this is what happens when you live stream. Hopefully, the phone will be answered. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now, I'm going to take a minute to just get grounded. Get centered and invite um, the presence of spirit, higher consciousness, my higher self, be in alignment with the message today. So I invite you to take a few deep breaths with me. And let's just get into some sacred space together. saying, it's what I like to call getting into the zone, getting into that relaxed and alert, peaceful state of mind where the magic happens. In this place we live out our preferred experiences. So I felt it come in. How about you? All right. So um, why practice? So I, I think a lot of people kind of got into the secret. I think most of us have, you know, um, a basic understanding of the uh, law of attraction, um, I call it the art of allowing, um, but anyway, you know, way back in, what was it, 2006, somewhere in that time frame, um, you know, I, I picked up those audio CDs and listened to it and thought, you know, this is good stuff, and, you know, intellectually, you know, sort of absorb the information, um, it was exciting, and I don't know if anybody else, re you know, remembers that time, but, you know, it was an exciting new, new leading edge way of thinking about your life and, and creation, and I think most people kind of gave it a shot and realized that, well, there's maybe a little bit more to this thing, this secret, 
than um, meets the eye because it's not working for me. You know, I'm not able to sit and, and visualize and manifest everything that, um, that I think about or that I dream about. And so, you know, people had, I'm sure, varying degrees of, of success with that. Um, and then over time, there have been more books that have come out and more information that's been written about, you know, well, this is what the missing ingredient was, and this is how you find the answer, and this is how you do this, and this is how you do that. All per perfect, all wonderful, all great. Um, I went to Barnes & Noble's the other day, and, you know, hundreds, probably thousands of books <coughs> have been written about, um, you know, how, how, how do we create? How are we creating? How are we living in in this world how are we improving our lives how are we you know and and somebody came up with this is how you do it here's my practice here's my way here's my uh my 21 day you know method of creating a better body creating a better life creating better finances creating better relationships and all that information is out there and it's all good and it's all wonderful but it's sort of pointless and useless if you don't, at some point, take it out of the intellectual realm of thinking and understanding and knowing it and actually integrate it into yourself as a being and who you are and let this information actually become you and inform the decisions that you make on a daily basis. And for me, that's what was missing. So one day, uh, in the summer, late late spring, early summer of 2015, last year, I just decided, you know, I, I understand this. I, I conceptually, I get it. But I'm not doing it. And um, maybe I should. Maybe I should concentrate and focus on a daily practice of using this tool. So the tool that I used was the art of allowing, and it was the simple process, a simple practice of making a choice every morning when I woke up, whatever thought or feeling was in my mind, and usually it was some sort of an anxiety feeling of, you know, sort of being anxious about the day or, you know, replaying whatever was going on yesterday. And instead of doing that, first thing in the morning when I woke up, I just decided I'm going to reach for a better thought. This is um, you know, directly from the teaching of Abraham Hicks. And so I'm not going to teach you what Abraham Hicks teaches. I'm going to tell you to go look at it. And go look at it. So, um, you know, what I did, again, was looking at it from the standpoint of, you know, let me wake up first thing in the morning and get my, mo my momentum going in a positive direction with my thoughts and feelings. I genuinely understood and genuinely agreed with the fact that when I think positive thoughts, I experience positive results or experiences in my life. And I have plenty of evidence of that being the case. But it wasn't a consistent, deliberate, everyday choice. It was just, you know, sometimes I do it and it felt beautiful, it worked. And then sometimes I'm caught up in these negative thoughts or feelings and energies, and then I'm having a miserable time. And I really had a lot of clarity about that. Um, there were times when I would just be sort of contemplating, like, why am I suffering? And immediately my higher mind would come in and say, it's your thinking. <laughs> You're thinking about something that is making you feel that way. Stop thinking about that. Think about this and see what happens. So, last summer I decided I'm going to just do this every day for a month. And <clears throat> within five days, literally, things were vastly different. Um, I had some amazing, wonderful, uh, fun experiences that I, I wouldn't have had before. I just know that I would not have had before because of my track record. I already had uh, understanding that, you know, I you know, per, the, the one thing that was really like um, a big aha moment was I'd go out, you know, with friends or whatever and really just not have fun. 
And so in that first week, I said, you know what, when I go out, I'm going to have fun. And I let that be my mantra. When I go out, I'm going to have fun. Everything's always working out for me. And I had the most fun. It was nothing really had changed. There was nothing changed in the group of friends, nothing changed in the environment of being out, but it was just within me internally that I had fun. So, um, you know, I started meeting different people and, and having different new experiences and things like that. Lots of synchronicities, lots of things falling into place, alignments. Um, I had gained a lot more clarity in terms of what I really felt like I wanted to do and what, I, what I'm here to do. And so um, I went forward with that, and in, the, in that month of really, you know, sort of focusing on this process of just generally feeling better, just generally choosing better feelings, generally doing things that made me happy, um, I began to attract things into my life that were preferred experiences. And so if you're just joining me, um, go ahead and, you know, say hi. You can click the, the, the like button or just type in a hello. And, you know, if you also um, are wanting to share, you know, this live stream with anybody, you can click the share button and that will, um, you know, sort of share the, the, the talk. So today I'm just talking about the why, you know, the why of practice and my why of practice and how, you know, sort of this whole thing came, came about. So... Um, I, you know, I did that. I practiced for a month, and I noticed a, a, an amazing shift in my in my perspective, amazing shift in my experiences. But then I kind of got busy into the things that that came. I got, you know, some new work that came in, and it was very exciting. And I was doing things that you know I hadn't been doing before, but you know that was the experiences were really really rich. Um, and it did two things, you know, it showed me that, that genuinely, you know, that I could uh, create really any experience that I really choose to, to create with, the, you know, the practice of sort of generally being happier, clearing out anything that comes up and, and a lot of stuff came up, you know, negative feelings, doubts, fears, you know, and using my tools to kind of clear those things out of the way and have a better understanding of what those those things were. And so, and during this, this uh, challenge, I'll share that stuff with you as well. But as I went along, um, you know, I also found out that, hey, you know what, this type of work, mm, not so much. It's not really, you know, I'm not really super, super, into it, <laughs> like I thought that I would be. So, um, <clears throat> so by January of 2016, January of this year, I was like, okay, I'm ready to do another 30 day challenge and challenge myself again to sort of get back into that zone, get back into that flow every day. And so on January 1st, I launched another challenge and this time I did it on Facebook. So if you go back through the, um, the, feed here on the on the group you'll actually you can actually go all the way back to January <laughs> of 2016 January 1st and you can see the um, the live stream that I did and and the launch of that uh, that program so but anyway um, I did that one and for those 30 days learned again a lot about myself did a lot of healing a lot of self-clearing a lot of getting stuff out of the way and at that time I was working on my Whole Life Wellness Expo, and so again, just uh, so much, you know, that came in that really helped me to have clarity about myself and who I am and what I want to do. But I went through that whole, you know, springtime, you know, focused on that again, kind of dropped mm -hmm. the notion of um, of the daily practice and just kind of, you know, focused in on creating this event that I was creating. And then um, got through that, and it was it was difficult. It was a struggle. It was you know frustrating. Um, I'll talk more about that uh, in another live stream. But when I got done with it, I was you know pretty burned out. I needed to take a break, and uh, again, in my own inner work, in my journaling, in my meditation. Um, it came to me to do a vision quest. I spent three hours just really tuning into myself. And in that, 
process, um, it was do another 30 day challenge, get back on track with this and do another one. So I was like, okay. So I did another 30 day challenge in June. And by the end of June, um, I had, um, I had really gained an understanding that mm -hmm. it was really a good thing to do, um, you know, to, to work with, with coaches and to work with other people and mentors who can, um, you know, sort of help you with your unique journey. And so uh, I, I had the idea and had the notion that I really wanted to find a person like that. And in my practice of the art of allowing, this person showed up. So on June 20th, I met the person that's been coaching me and I'll share some more really wonderful things about her also. Um, as we go through this journey, but uh, for, you know, for anyone who'd be interested in working with a coach, yeah, I would highly recommend her. But anyway, so um, I did that and then, um, you know, sort of got into the, that whole process of, of being coached and working with the coach and decided that I wanted to do another, another 30 day challenge and this time, you know, inviting more people and sort of really you know, it's been kind of happening in layers, and, and, and for me, I don't know about any of you, but for me, definitely, um, I kind of feel, I, I tend to just kind of learn as I'm going along, and it's not that I'm, like, sort of planning the things <laughs> that are happening or that I'm learning, but then suddenly I have an epiphany, I have an aha moment, and I'm like, okay, I see what all of that was for. And so I don't know about any of you, if you're experiential learners like that, but that's, that's how I learn. So, um, so I'm going along and I'm, you know, doing another challenge and then, you know, doing another one. And so, you know, each time I've done this, I've gained new insight, new perspective and grown and had amazing things show up in my life as a result, um, better in new relationships more love, more fun, more joy, more freedom, you know, just wonderful, wonderful things. So um, I'm inviting you to join me on this next journey. And what I realized after the last challenge was that really the whole point, the whole benefit of doing any of this is, you know, that we get to incorporate all of those things that we've already learned, all of that intellectual knowledge that we have about, you know, our spiritual growth or our personal growth or our, you know, desires to make change in our lives. Um, we all know that, you know, you, ha you know, you adopt a better diet, you adopt a better um, um, exercise program or whatever, and you, ha you get results. We know that. The thing is, do we do it, you know? We know that, you know, exercising our bodies makes us stronger. Do we do it? This is the same thing. We know that practicing and exercising these tools for self-improvement makes a difference because it does if you do it. So my goal here is to facilitate that for everyone who's interested and, you know, um, give you a place to, you know, have accountability for yourself to make a commitment to yourself, to, you know, um, truly love yourself and, and practice that because sometimes we don't. Um, that was another big aha moment that I had at the end of the last challenge was that even though, yes, I love myself and I can say, honestly, I can look in the mirror and say, I love you, Crystal, but was I loving myself unconditionally? No, I was not. Was I saying, you are okay exactly how you are right now in this moment? No, I was not doing that. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to change. And that's not what this is about. It's not about the pressure to change and be something that you're not. It's about really understanding that you can create experiences that you prefer if you focus on them. But you're okay the way that you are. You're perfectly fine the way that you are. And so we're going to go into the human design a little bit, and that's going to actually help to illuminate that for you. The way that you are designed is perfect. And, you know, we have, you know, outside conditioning. We have outside influences that, you know, we 
we've you know taken in and said, okay, there's something wrong with me because I'm not like that. And the truth is, is that there is nothing wrong with you. You're perfect the way that you are. And um, this is just about learning to implement the things that you already know so that you can experience life the way that you choose to experience it and um, let it be beautiful, let it be happy and joyous, let it be um, as good as it possibly can be for your benefit and the benefit of everyone around you. Because as you begin to elevate yourself and you begin to vibrate on a higher frequency, other people around you get the benefit of that and you can help to elevate them as well. So that is what we're doing here. So this whole um, 30 days is going to be about just practicing. I'm going to share tools that I find useful. Um, you may find other ones. You may have a completely different way of going about your practice than I do. Um, so the whole point is, is, you know, do what your heart leads you to do. You have an internal compass. You have an internal voice. You have your design that is always directing you in the right direction. In fact, it won't let you go the wrong way. And that's what happens when we get into frustration or anger or bitterness. We're going in the wrong direction. And that's our body's way of saying, or our inner wisdom's way of saying, hey, hello, look, you're going the wrong way. You need to turn around and go a different direction. And and so, yeah, so you're, you're not even it's not even possible for you to go the wrong way for very long without feeling horrible. <laughs> so when you have that horrible feeling, just know that that is my signal to, to change, to turn around, to do something different. So where are you feeling horrible? It's okay to look at it. It's okay to say, you know, this is where I feel, this is where I feel my worst. This is where life is showing you that you got some brokenness and it's time to fix it. You can heal it. You can heal it. So those are the things that I'm learning um, and I'm really wanting to share with everybody. Um, the challenge again starts today. If you haven't already gone to my website, you can visit my website. It's crystalwillingham.com. And um, you just click on the link that says get your free tools and that will take you to the page to actually sign up for the program. There's a, a membership page that has um, information uh, about the program and, and the format and, and you know what, we're, what I have planned for the next four weeks. And um, also, if you sign up there, you'll get a daily email sent out for me as sort of a digest and, you know, something that you can, um, you know, sort of at your leisure, you can go through it. Um, there's no pressure. I don't, you know, I just want people to, to allow this to be easy and let it be what it is, you know, on a daily basis. Just let it be what it is. Don't pressure yourself to do anything specific other than, you know, focus on loving yourself more. Focus on um, affirming the truth of who you are. Focus on um, affirming the fact that you can have the experiences that you prefer. So if you want, if you prefer to have a healthier body, you can have that experience of a healthier body. If you affirm that in the now, you affirm it today. So we'll talk about how to, you know, do affirmations, and we'll talk about, you know, how to clear negative trapped emotions, and we'll talk about you know, how to, you know, sort of, you know, do these things. And what I really am hoping for is a, a dialogue, you know, a, a conversation and a discussion with everyone who's participating, asking questions and, and really digging in and being earnest about, you know, I, I don't know how to do this, you know, so how do I do it? And let me guide you. Um, I also do offer, you know, to help people one-on-one. -on -one. So if that is something that you're interested in, you know, s certainly feel free to um, to ask, and I'll be happy to share um, that information with you, uh, how, how you can actually work with me one-on-one -on -one if that's something that you want to do. So, hmm, my goal, my goal for this challenge um, actually, I have a couple. So um, 
the first goal that I have for this challenge is to do these live streams every day. Um, I'm learning how to be visible. And I know that I have a lot to say. So I thank you for being here so that I can say what I have to say, for being open to hearing what I have to say, and for joining me. So that's number one, my number one goal, live streaming every day, um, <laughs> just practicing letting the information come through. Um, the second goal that I have for this 30-day challenge is really a physical goal, focusing on my physical health and well-being of my body and allowing myself to be guided to those things that are going to help me to improve my health and wellness. Um, I'm a very healthy person already, I think comparatively speaking, <laughs> but um, I just, you know, I just want to give my body everything that it needs to be optimally healthy. And so it's going to be a fo I think something for me to focus on to, you know, eat uh, better and to move my body more and exercise, do yoga and things like that. So those are my, my, my goals for this challenge. Um, and I'd love to hear what your goals are and, and help you in any way that I can to achieve those goals. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, look for the email if you haven't already received it. Um, there's going to be posts daily in the Facebook group page. Um, but this process is going to be really simple, and it's going to be whatever you make it. Um, I'm going to share as much information as I can. Um, but my, you know, of course, again, for me, um, one of one of my uh, one of my things that I that I've been working on within myself is to allow things to just be easy, allow things to be effortless. I, I used to have a tendency to overcomplicate everything, and to you know, build these big lofty visions and dreams um, and and then not know how to go about making that happen. And so what I've been guided to do is just really simplify, start with the seed and let the seed grow. And the seed's going to grow on its own because that's what seeds do. <laughs> so um, this is a seed. Plant it, water it, give it some sunlight, and we'll see what happens. All right. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to sign off now and join, hop over onto the, uh, the, the practice 30 day challenge group page. If you're not already on there, go ahead and join that and I will see you there. Okay. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Love you.